What is up guys, welcome to Diving Garage. In today's video, we're unboxing the Holly Super Sniper 2x4 and Holly Hyperspark Kit. All from my 350 small black Chevy that's getting a blower. Let's dive in. All right, so first two things. Uh, sorry, the shot is a little tight. I got Hank in the garage, you can see him right here. And there is not a lot of room left when he's in here. And second thing is I have taken out the main, I guess throttle bodies if you want to call them. Uh, I needed them for some mock-off and for some fitment. Um, but these are the only things I've looked at in the kit. I don't even know what else it comes with or what type of sensors we're going to get here. This here is the main unit. You can tell because this is the one that has all the stuff on it. And this here is a slave unit. And this one sits in the very front and it connects to the main unit. All right, so I'm going to throw those off to the side. Let's get in here with this box. All right, let's get in here. I don't know all that comes in here, but let's check it out. All right, so these are the boxes that the main units were in. I don't think there's anything else in here. Let's just double check. Nope, this unit or this box, nothing in there. I know this one has some stuff in it. Okay, what do we get? What do we get? It's like Christmas. Okay, first thing, it looks like we get some gaskets. We've got some uh, filter gaskets, stickers. This is what we do it all for, right guys? And we got some base gaskets and it looks like a manual. And normally I chuck these, but <laughs> I've never done an EFI system before. So I'm gonna actually read this one and see what all it's gonna take. They say it's super easy, but we shall see. All right, looks like we get some crazy looking wiring harness. I don't know what that's for. Let's open it up. Oh, there we go. Let's see, what do we get? All right. Everything's labeled, that's nice. This is super cool. So we got a relay built in here. This must be what powers the snipers. What do we got? This blue wire says fuel pump positive. Okay, so the fuel pump trigger. That's probably a ground. It's probably a ground. This one is not labeled. Oh, that came off. I hope that's okay. Um, yeah, well, I mean, I don't know if you can really see, but everything's nice and labeled on there. So, oh, that's a battery positive. So I guess if you just follow the wire you're interested in, you should be able to find out where it terminates to. Nice and easy. Well, that's good. Okay. Oh, I hope that's not broken. It's probably fine. It's fine, right? Yeah, it's fine. All right, I'm just gonna set this off to the side. And we've got another box in here. Ooh, more wires. What? Ooh, <laughs> this is intense. Holy moly. What is this for? Sensor ground. Wow, let's check it out. Oh, okay, cool. This is just some uh, wire loom. Dig that. And this one. These are marked a little smaller. They say sensor grounds. Looks like, I guess these are all of our sensor wires. Everything that's good that the computer needs to run. What else do we got? It just says sensor ground, output number four, uh, orange wire that says something, pink wire says input. Yeah, this is really where the directions are going to come into play. And you know what? This is going to be a little extra hard for your boy because I don't know if I've mentioned before, but I am colorblind. Not 100%, obviously, I don't see black and white. But uh, these are all a bunch of different gray colors, and these, this is, <laughs> this is gonna be tough. This is gonna be tough. But if I can do it, that means you can do it. Uh, what do we got here? We got some more loom. That's cool. I'm probably gonna keep these together. And what does this one say? Input number one, output number six points output. Okay, so this must be for our distributor. 
But the cool thing about this kit is that these none of the connectors are the same, so you can't mess it up. So this one obviously can't fit in here. This one obviously can't fit in there. Get, get over there. All right, I'm gonna try to keep this stuff together. Let's set it off to the side. All right, here we go. What is this? Um, this appears to be a temperature sensor, if I had to guess. Yeah, if I had to guess, that's a temperature sensor. You can check it out. Yep. Something off to the side. And what do we got? Oh, okay. Looks like we got some exhaust clamps. And this is for the O2 sensor. This is cool. I'll show you this. I, was, I actually didn't even know if the kit came with this. I was going to buy it separately, but I'm glad I did this before I hit and go on that order. So what this does is pretty easy. You drill a hole in your exhaust and then you clamp this guy around there. And what should be right here, yep, is the actual O2 sensor. And I think this is a Bosch unit. Let's see if it says anywhere. Uh, I don't know if it says anywhere. It probably does, I'm just messing it. Anyway, here's the O2 sensor. And this is a really nice, heavy gauge feeling, uh, I guess, bung. Yeah, so you just drill a hole and then you clamp it down, thread your sensor in there and you're good to go. And it comes with a little gasket. Well, I ordered this kit a while ago, but <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't even dug into it to see what all is in there. I did just take a peek at the uh, actual uh, throttle bodies. I guess that's what they're called. And this magic device looks like it could be. Aha, yeah, the screen. Perfect. So this is a little handheld you get to so run all your sniper, do your initial wizard setup. Uh, that's what I'll do just to get it going. I'll do a wizard setup and then I will get into tuning and such, but not right out the gate. Cool. I guess these are stickers and stuff to mount it. Oh, a little pen. That's cool. I'll set that in there. Yeah. What is this? Oh, cool. This is the can harness cable. So a lot of kits don't actually come with this, but this was a really cool thing I liked about the Super Sniper is that it really comes with everything you need. And if you get a regular sniper, you're not going to get this cable. Uh, and what this cable does is it has a USB side and it has uh, your CAN interface. It's how you can connect to your sniper and view it on a laptop or a computer and do some real tuning. So this is very important. And again, that's typically an extra add-on. All right, and that is it. And this was the box that had the main throttle bodies in it. And that's everything I pretty much expected. Just to review, we got a temperature sensor, we got a oxygen sensor, we got the oxygen hookup, we got the uh, actual uh, display, we got the can cable, we got some wires, some scary mess of wires, we got another scary mess of wires, and then, oh, we got one more set of wires, a bunch of loom, and then the manual and some gaskets. So. All in all, everything you kind of expect, that makes sense. Cool. So I'm gonna pack this up and we'll take a look at the HyperSpark. All right, this is the HyperSpark kit. Pop the tape open. This is what you get. All right, first thing, big, big <laughs> bundle of wires. Oh man, this is a lot. Let's check it out. There we go. Look at this. Everything's nice and labeled though. Fuel pump, uh, 10 pin output, sniper main, fuel, uh, or if you'll that, switch for 12 volt relay, coil wire, ignition. So this is really what's gonna run the engine right here. Set that off to the side. Should we get, we get a little box? What's in here? What do we got, what do we got? More wires. All right, uh, well, we'll see what that's for. Oh, here we go. We got a boot. This looks like the coil. Oh, 
get this thing out of here. Oh man, this is a sick looking coil too. Look at that. Nice, solid mounting points. Got the connector, male terminal on the end. And they give you a uh, female. So I guess if maybe you had the one where your terminal is a male, like on your existing kit, you could just swap the end boot out for a female to go right on there. So that's cool. I like that they include that. Let me go ahead and throw some of this stuff back in there. All right, and we got another one. What is this little? Oh, forgot that. Forgot that tape. All right, what is this? Oh, this must be the ignition box. Yeah, look at that. Woo! Look at nice. Nice solid connector there. This thing just feels like quality. Normally you feel some of these and they're light. You kind of want to chunk them. <laughs> um, okay, all right, some connectors, some hardware. I probably won't be using any of that hardware. I will use some of those connectors though. Cool, all right. Nice and easy on that one. Set that to the side. And this is the uh, actual distributor. I got this one ready to go. Well, let me put it so you can see it. Get out of here. There we go. Na -na -na. Yeah, I'm pumped for this. So this, of course, is a billet and it's got the small cap. Man, this thing looks nice. You can see that. And does say the MSD up there. And why is that? Well, because Holly has bought out all the competition. That's why. <laughs> you go on their website, you'll see Holly owns all kinds of stuff. So it does say MSD up there. So for all you MSD haters, it's the same company now, guys. And it does say, if you can see, it says Sniper EFI right there. Overall, good looking unit, though. Uh, we got all eight cylinders, of course. And we got the, um, uh, the ignition coil in. Just power the whole unit, and it looks like we get a hold down, just in case your spark plugs like to go flying everywhere. But I've never really had a use for one of those. Oh, and this the unit is actually pretty trick right here. Um, so what you do, I watched I watched some other videos on this. What you do is you get your distributor and the engine. You line it up for the number one cylinder with the pointer facing number one, of course. And then um, what you do is you get the hold down loose. And then you can rotate the body. Uh, you put this on and then you rotate the body and that's where your starting point is. And then you can lock it down and continue on with the install. So that's pretty sick. What else do we got? Assembly lube. I'm assuming that's for the gear. Yeah, probably is. And we got some hardware and some gaskets. Stop, do not return to your retailer. Okay. And we got a gasket and there's something else in here. Did I say gasket? Oh, I'm crazy. We got a manual. Addendum, what is this? Enclosed in this kit is a tube of camshaft and lifter lubricant to be used in the installation. Yeah, so when you're installing this guy, you don't want to put it in dry. They give you some lube to lube up your cam gear. Of course, you would want to do that. And that's good. Dude, I'm glad they give you that. I was just going to use some assembly lube I had. But that's fine. All right. Yeah, and then again, more instructions on what to do and some pictures. Not that you can really see that, but it's even got pictures for us cavemen. So, so easy a caveman can do it. Where are those commercials at, right? But I think, I think that's it. If I can get this closed on there, right? Yeah, guys, I think that's it. Um, pretty simple. Looks like it comes with everything you need. Um, if there's anything I forget, I will bring it up in the next video. But you can see behind me, there's a sneak peek. The blower's on. Don't worry, that video's coming next week. I'm in the middle of editing it right now. And it's, it's awesome. We encountered a few problems along the way, but don't we always, right? So uh, that's it for this time, guys. If you liked the video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Get out there and dive in your next project.